the sign of the times really episode 297 this time not just saying the wrong number it is really 297 from this undisclosed stairwell next to some heavy machinery next to some heavy machinery that looks like something that many beasts would jump on and drive off while beasts chased after him yelling stop that we need to go to the pizza hut for some pizza pie because beast barnett loves the pizza pie he may love Pizza Hut. I can't confirm or deny what his favorite pizza pie from the Pizza Hut is, but I'm going to guess it's possibly the Meat Lovers. That's a guess, but I can't confirm it at this time, although I will investigate. Beast may or may not love Dasani water to go with his pizza pie. Apparently, he's not a fan of the coffee with his Pizza Hut pizza pie. I don't know why. It's delicious. For the people that love the snaps pamphlet of the silent time every show needs a pamphlet you can confirm that with dave turner cac program cac will be here next spring the twitter where you can follow me but not literally not literally dylan bossick's mother follows me on the twitter but not literally i don't look around and there's missy hiding behind some lamp post hoping that i don't notice her or i don't walk around and there she is riding on that piece of heavy machinery hoping I don't see her also you know, following me on the Twitter you have Dave Dynasty he follows me on the Twitter but not literally I don't look over there there's Dave Dynasty plugging the Tommy Wildfire Rich School of Wrestling in the bushes be weird Facebook the Instagram the YouTube which you may be watching right about now right about now you may be watching it Autograph picture of Seymour Snot, whom I did get confirmation from for our previous question episodes ago. He did, in fact, fight Mark Ash. It was in a tag team match years ago. So Seymour Snot has done battle with Mark Ash. I don't know why that was not profiled in Mean Mark Ash's book, but it should have been. Should have had a whole chapter. His match with Seymour Snot. It was a so so book. Mostly so. But that's fine, Dale Pierce. Got his money's out of it. It was all right. King Bad News. Look at that. Cameron Starr came up prominently in Vinny Vachetti's interview with us today. Split him open like a ripe melon, apparently, at one point in time. Stiff was his word association. Stiff. Another member of Team Bad News, Casey Carlisle. She was in the area recently. I don't know if she's rode on this piece of heavy machinery during that loop. But she did face Bambi Hall, who wants Sammy against Diafula Debashi. Or if you're that idiot Darth Carta, Diafula Dibiashi. The million dollar currency of Yemen man. Whatever he is. Apparently. She also faced Sunny Days, whose cleavage has saved more sports entertainers than penicillin, but less than Bob Hardy. There you Casey Carlisle is when she went to Large Title Belt University, home of the Fighting Championships. There she is holding the NWA Women's Championship, which she won five years ago today as we film this. Her five-year anniversary of winning the NWA Women's Title. I believe she defeated Tasha Simone, who may or may not hate me. I think she does, but I'm not sure. Tasha Simone once upon a time wrestled in a casino in suburban Tacoma, Washington. That is a fact. Also, a fact, Kane Jade, not old enough to look at that one, but he could buy it at CaseyCarlisle.com. He just couldn't look at it once it came. That one is mine, mine alone for me. Mine, mine, mine. That is the Valkyrie championship she has. It is also very, very large. If you're a promoter and you have an extremely large women's title belt, Casey Carlisle might be gunning for that. There she is next to a barn. I don't know if she's ever wrestled in a barn, but I will ask her. There she is when she was moonlighting as a hot nurse. Benny Vachetti could have saved me when I gave him his scariest moment ever in his entire career if he'd yelled, hot nurse needed ringside stat and sent Casey Carlisle to get me when my leg exploded like Sid Vicious's in Indianapolis. Of course, mine was more gruesome, but I won my match. Take that, Sid. There she is, looking sultry. There she is in fishnets, which kind of resemble my gear a little bit. Only hers is black, mine is red. QT's favorite, the pillow. I didn't notice if she brought a pillow with her, but she may have. There she is in smaller form if you're a midget. 
insert your own Donny Idol jokes here. Unless you're Itchcoma Weeder, then you can't say anything because you're tiny. DVDs of Casey Carlisle available. Current book I'm reading, The Curious Case of Sid Finch. A novel. They took an April 1st edition of Sports Illustrated that fooled people into thinking a guy could throw a fastball 168 miles an hour, which he can't. Which he can't. And they made a novel. It's so far interesting. Very interesting. Be better if it didn't deal with the Mets. But I digress. Still a good book. This week, it's a busy week here on the anniversary of Casey Carlisle winning the NWA World Women's title from Tasha Simone, who may or may not hate me. This coming week on Sunday on Turnbuckle Terminal, we have Manager's Day once again. Have a lot of managers coming on. TJ Rocks will be back with us. We will have Mr. Man out of World of Hurt Wrestling. We'll have Damon Anderson, whom I haven't seen in years. Years. But he'll be with us. Lots of interesting managers. Mortimer Blankenship from uh, Supreme Wrestling there in Madison, Indiana. He'll be on. Lots of managers from all over the country. Monday. Oh, pretty much looking free. Next Tuesday, on the hills of Casey Carlisle and Jason Ayers, both paying me a visit, King Marcus Anderson's going to be in town on his stopover to going to Japan. He'll be in town. Maybe he'll bring me his new t-shirt, which is available whenever you see King Marcus Anderson, I believe. I wouldn't mind getting a t-shirt. Wednesday, eh, it's kind of free. You know, maybe King Marcus and I will have a cup of coffee. Maybe we will. Thursday, I believe we're going to have some tea. The king and I will be having some tea before he departs for the rising sun, Japan, the Orient. Going to get some tea here in Seattle. He loves tea. Loves, loves tea. I don't know if he subscribed to Tea Time Magazine, but I will make it a point to ask him and report back on the next episode of The Sign of the Times. So there's that to look forward to. Unless you're King Marcus Anderson, then it might be one of the things that makes you question your choices in life. Next Friday, we have M.D. Leisky on the show. Ring announcer there at Blue Collar Wrestling. He's called many a match. Many a match he's called. We'll talk to him, get his point of view on things. Maybe we'll ask him why that ring announcer keeps ringing the bell before I call for it. Because it's a thing. It is a thing that has happened multiple times. Not happy about it, but it's a thing. So to review from this undisclosed stairwell next to some heavy machinery that Mini Beast would probably love to have for his birthday, which is upcoming, Beast Barnett, in case you have forgotten, and then failed to also remember your favorite Pizza Hut pizza pie on Sunday. Manager's Day. Going to have a lot of managers. I managed. Managed a lot of people. Managed Zach Winters. Can't say it was a proud achievement, but I did it. May have been a low light. Then, Monday, yeah, it's pretty much looking free. Next Tuesday, that's when King Marcus Anderson comes to the town. Maybe you'll have a t-shirt for me. I'd love a t-shirt from King Marcus Anderson. Wednesday, yeah, we'll probably have a cup of coffee. Maybe some breakfast, I don't know. Next Thursday, that's when we're having tea. King Marcus Anderson and I having some tea. I don't know what tea I'll have. Maybe it will be some form of green tea. That's a possibility. Then... Next Friday, M.D. Leisky, the ring announcer there at Blue Collar Wrestling in Portland. His first time with us. His very first time with us. So pretty much episode 297, which is really 297 this time, not just saying it. 